There it goes. First shot of the season right there. Right there, guys, American Shad. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mike Fan, and today we are going to be talking about shad fishing, guys. The good old American Shad. They come up this time of year by the thousands, and they're going to be spawning right there on the sack on the feather on the american so it's a great time the daily bag limit is 25 so yeah you can catch 25 and keep 25 of these guys you can do whatever you want with them you can eat them i throw them back uh i'll eat i'll bring some of my family to eat and then i'll just throw the rest out i heard they make really good fish cakes um you can use them for crab bait it's all up to you what you want to do with them all right i just like to fish them they're a lot of fun they put up a good fight and i love when they tap you know on a, when you're using a sensitive rod they have, they'll tap the top of your tip like that it's pretty crazy so much fun but other than that i'm gonna teach you guys how to rig it from the bank today i got two different setups right here so the first setup i got right here is the most easiest way this is my primary setup right here it's a 7.6 Zodius paired up with the 3000 XG uh, Vanford. I got it spooled up with eight pound floral clear. And for this setup, it's very simple. All I'm running is just a basic Carolina rig. So I got a, you can run half ounce to one ounce down to a swivel. And then I run um, three to four and a half feet liter. And from the liter, I run it straight down to a, to this guy right here guys a shad dart that's it i don't put any grubs i don't put any beads on it it's just a basic uh shad dart right there so that's how i run my primary setup so that's how i fish uh 80 of the time that's how i run it right here and then i got a second setup right here you can run it this way too they both work this way um this one works too this is a, a six foot six uh Daiwa laguna uh on a pen fierce 2000 with a six pound floral clear and on this setup, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna run um, a three-way swivel right there. So the first one is tied up to your main line, and then the second one, you're gonna run eight inches, uh, six to eight inch, and you're gonna tie it down straight to your cannonball weight, one ounce or half ounce, whatever you wanna run, three eighths, three fourths, whatever. I like to run a one ounce. And then uh, same thing, I just run the last one right here. 
uh, three to four and a half feet leader. Some people run really long leader. I don't like to do that unless I have a really long rod. And uh, just because I'm fishing off the bank, there's like trees and you know, you, it's not always comfortable. You don't all, everything behind you, you gotta be, be aware of all that. <laughs> but right there guys, I just tied that up straight to this guy right here. So three and a half to four and a half feet leader up down to a shad dart. No grub, no beads, nothing. I just run it that way. So, um, on the American River, you want to run these right here, guys. But on the bobber setup, you're going to run uh, the 132 jig head and then down to a chartreuse or a champagne uh, grub right there. And then uh, at Miller Park and Verona every year, you're running to the uh, Russian OG. He makes these ones himself. They're a lot smaller, but they work, they're really good. Um, these ones right here, they have three different colors instead of two colors. Uh, these are from last year, caught a bunch of shad on them. So, yeah, it's a Russian OG guy. He sells them for about 30 cents each, I believe. And then uh, I just get these ones right here from the bait shop, right there off of Freeport. Just a regular shad dart right there. I like the red and chartreuse, black and chartreuse, green and chartreuse, orange and chartreuse, white and orange, white and red, white and green white and purple they all work really good you just pick your favorite color and you go with those all right <laughs> but uh yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all you need you know you don't need anything expensive just go out there and get a little 30 40 dollar combo uh put some six to eight pound um mono or fluorocarbon if you want if you want to spend that much and then that's all you need some darts and some swivels and some weights and that's it and then uh right now the best place to catch them is uh clarksburg freeport miller park um, Discovery Park, Verona, um, Sunrise, uh, and a Watt Avenue um, access right there on the American River. Those are all really good spots right there off of um, Broderick near the water tower. That, that rocky ledge right there, that whole stretch right there is really good for shad. The middle hole is good too. Um, you know, you just go find a little spot and just cast and, and retrieve. So yeah, yeah, I didn't even tell you guys how to fish them. Yeah, you just pretty much just cast it <laughs> and you just retrieve at a steady speed, guys. So you, usually I like to go with the flow of the current, depending on the spot you're fishing. If it's deep, you want to run a heavier weight. If it's not too deep, then you run a lighter weight. And uh, you just cat, cast and you just match the speed of the flow, you know what I mean? And the best time to fish them is when there's w movement during the outgoing or incoming, it doesn't matter which one, as long as there's movement in the water. When there's a slack tide, you're not gonna get much bite. You'll get one or two, but you're gonna get that hot action when the water's flowing and it gives it the action, you know what I mean? That's when they're gonna be biting left and right and you're gonna have so much fun, guys. But other than that, that's all you need. And that's, those are the best place to fish. I hope you guys go out there and smack them. If you do, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And uh, good luck and tight lines out there. Keep the bank clean as always. And yep, I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.